to my channel. Today I am beyond excited to talk to you about a truly mind-bending book that is The Ministry of Time by Colleen Branley. If you are into time travel, historical intrigue and deep human connections then you are in for a treat. Now this novel The Ministry of Time is a unique journey into a hidden world where a secret government organization is tasked with protecting the timeline and ensuring history remains intact. It's a thrilling exploration of how even the smallest actions can ripple through centuries, shifting destinies and altering our perception of reality. What really stands out in this book is the brilliant array of characters. We have Elena, the enigmatic and fiercely determined agent who will do whatever it takes to protect history. Her journey is both heartbreaking and inspiring, filled with layers of vulnerability beneath her strong exterior. She is haunted by the ghosts of her own past while trying to prevent time itself from unraveling. Then there is Inspector Antony, a complicated man with an intellectual sharpness who struggles the consequences of his own choices. His character forces us to question what it really means to protect history. At what cost do we draw the line between destiny and free will? The third central figure is Mateo, the charming, adventurous idealist who believes in the possibility of change, even if it's within the rigid boundaries of time travel. His unwavering hope brings warmth to the story and keeps us rooting for a better future, even in the darkest of timelines. Branley's writing is lyrical and she paints vivid pictures of historical events, making you feel as though you are truly there, living, breathing in the past while caught in the urgency of the present. There are lines in the book that truly stayed with me. For example, there is a moment when Elena reflects on the essence of their mission. Time does not forget. It waits. It waits for those who dare to change it, for those willing to pay the price. This line captures the risk and the courage that it takes to confront history head on. It's powerful and makes us realize how much of our actions ripple through time, even when we think they don't matter. Another beautiful line that struck a chord from Mateo when he says, History is not a chain to bind us, but it's a map leading us towards the future we dare to create. This statement really resonated with me because it's about breaking away from the weight of what has been and forging something new, taking the lessons from our past and building something better. And of course, there is Antony's poignant realizations when he feels Sometimes, the most significant battles are not fought with swords or guns, but with whispers, with the unspoken truth that shapes who we are. It's a reminder of the complexity of life and the subtlety required to navigate it, especially when dealing with the delicate threads of time. The book surely leaves us contemplating the very nature of history, memory, and the choices make us who we are. The characters are people you will remember long after you close the last page, full of flaws, hopes, and moments of redemption. If you are looking for a book that makes you feel, that takes you on an adventure through history and challenges your understanding of time itself, the Ministry of Time is absolutely the one for you. It's thrilling, deeply emotional, and wonderfully thought-provoking. And finally, thank you all for joining me today. If you have read the Ministry of Time, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. What were your favorite moments or quotes that stayed with you? And if you haven't picked it up yet, make sure to add it in your reading list. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more of such content. Until next time, stay curious, keep reading and keep dreaming. Thank you.